What is up guys, Got a Gaming here and today we're going to be building a Dollar General in Minecraft. So today what you're going to need is you're going to need some sandstone, sandstone stairs, sandstone slab. I use this for just quickness and placing blocks. Stone slab, yellow wool, cobblestone wall, black stained glass, and the black stained glass paint. Let's get started with the build. So first off, here's our block of sandstone. Place the first block right here and then take it out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then you're going to skip seven three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and then you're going to turn it five six seven eight nine ten then twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. It's going to connect with this back wall back here. This is just marking the property. Um, the property. Um, so this is going to be at 28. It's going to turn back. Go this way. And then at 28. Here's going to go back this way. So you got your little shape right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my stone slabs right there. Black stained glass. Two blocks of the black stained glass. And then pane and pane. And there's your front door. stack it up by about four have the door go up by three most of these stores have automatic doors so there there's your automatic door so up by four and then this is going to be an indent And then this is going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's going to be for, I'm going to take it up actually 8. This is going to go up to 11. So that's 10, 11 blocks tall. And we're going to take this out. Take it up by eight on this side. Now, what you'll do with this is take your sandstone stairs, place them upside down on the top block. Do this for this one, two. I won't curve it. Actually, what I'll do is this. I'll curve it and leave the half slab on the end. Half slab. And the slab. So let's see. Half slab. Stair. Then take the stairs out. Take this up. Take this up eight. And then these stairs will come out like so. Now, for this part, what we're going to do is we're going to have on this block have the little Dollar General logo thing. Um, so I could have it come out like this maybe. And have the sandstone slab come up top. 
So that'd be Dollar General. Actually, I can have it do something like that. So there's the Dollar General, the front entrance part. It's actually looking pretty fair. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this up by 8 on the back. Only thing that's nice is that part, so... I'm questioning, do I need to push this back by one block? Will this wall right here become part of the store? I want to say yeah, why not? So, push it back so instead of 28, it's 29. And then right here will be like a little loading um a stock room door. I won't have a small stock room. But yeah, this ain't gonna be a big dollar general neither, so we're gonna have to whenever I furnish it combine space. So I'm gonna take this across. I hate it whenever the stairs glitch like that. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this in with regular sandstone off camera, but put a door in right here. Actually, let's move it over one block. So three over from the corner. And then let me put it in. Also, we'll have one adjacent to this one, maybe. Do a little fancy design, why not? We can. So we got that in. And so there's our little fire exit door. Or our little back entrance door. I might put a fire exit like closer to. Like, there's probably. I don't know. That was a dumb idea. Um, I'll probably move it to like right here. So this will be the fire exit door. Oh. There we go. So leave a two block gap. Put an iron door in. And this is going to go like right up against the corner. Usually most of them do that though. Got to get back out my sandstone. I won't have it go like one block from the corner. So there we are. This will probably be the back stock room. Like I said, it's not going to be very big, but it'll it'll accommodate the space it's required to have, I guess. Like the stuff you need, it'd be in here. Um, but yeah. So let's take this wall up. So basically I'm going to do a speed up on that and then a speed up on this wall as well. Because this wall is really plain and simple. I want to keep the stair idea going back here. So there you go. We got the stairs in. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this in 
and I will be right back with you guys. Dude, you guys don't go anywhere. So we are back and what we're gonna do, I forgot to mention we're gonna need some chisel quartz block for this door right here. We're gonna take it up four by three door and then three blocks over and then have another fire door like on that side. So we're gonna take this up by eight like usual. And I started on the roof. Um sorry about that. I thought I was recording earlier and I wasn't so I just it wasn't much but I realized I wasn't recording and it was just like rage mode um but basically I'm just taking this wall up showing you guys what to do for that fire door kind of similar to that one but back here you have the stock room door as well, so it's going to be a little different. And then I'm going to do a speed up on the roof. Speed up on the roof, then do the sun, and then that'll be about it. So let's do the sandstone stairs across. to that upside down sandstone and then upside down sandstone our, our run door and then stack this down to about right there so you got that and then what the stone slab was originally for it'll also be used for the roof is just for like a little overhang along the side for like rain I guess so just something like that I'll leave it stick out one more for but yeah this is just supposed to represent like a little overhang and then this what I did with this um this is my vibe but I started to fill in the interior of the roof and basically the material I'm using for the tile on the inside is white wool. Now on top of it will be stone slab. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um just like went silent for a sec. But yeah, I'm gonna do a speed up real quick and I'm gonna finish this up. So I'll be right back with you guys.
All right, so we just, I just finished up the roof. Um, this is what I did with it. And basically you got the main entrance, fire exit, and loading dock entrance. And you've also got this other fire entrance. Now what I'm gonna do to finish up the episode, I'm gonna make the sign. So just find you a decent little plot. What I'm gonna do is do it right here at the front. I broke one too many blocks. Oops. No. And then I'm going to do cobblestone 3x3. Three three. Leave a gap of one in the center with stone. And then go to your cobblestone wall. Stack it up about... I'd say th four high would work. And then your yellow wall have it go out by one on each side and then stack it twice so you have that little bitty shape going on and then do something like that maybe and this you could do something like that I think just the regular sign works so you got that You could put some gray carpet on top. Make it look a little more like the logo. And then what we can do just for the outside of the store, right before I get off, um, put an ice machine. So, a little twice the ice. This is another little bit of detail you can do item frame and item frame make it two blocks wide actually so do this and then what you can do is get some carpet get some gray carpet move it and then hold L2 down L2 down to rotate it so you got your little ice machine like that I don't want to do something like that. Just to add a little bit of realism to it, put some course stairs up. And then what you can do is put the course slab over if you want, or just I'm going to leave the course stairs. And then over here, red box. So what I want to do is have one cobblestone wall another cobblestone wall let's get out quartz slab where's dispensers at okay you got droppers And then I'll put a light gray wool with a button on it. Or paint, you could do like a TV screen. Yeah, let me put that there for now. So you got something like that. And that's your red box machine. Nothing too nice, but it's it actually serves its purpose, I think. Maybe do something like this instead. Have the red do that. And something like that. <laughs> yeah, that works. Alright, so basically you got your red box machine, your ice, once in a blue moon they'll have like just random stuff out here. So for that I'm just going to put some coarse stairs. Put down a bench, why not? Let's put in some item frames.
man this is basically a so if you guys did enjoy the video go click that like button if you guys do want to see some more minecraft less builds and less furnishes like this one go hit that subscribe and let me know what you guys want to see done i'm actually now that i think of it and um if you're new to my channel go subscribe hit that notification button that way you know every time i'm uploading remember guys until my next video remember to keep it gg